Hi guys, so today I'm going to do an Open University unboxing, a bit of background for those of you who might have not seen any of my previous videos. I'm studying the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Physics with the Open University. I do work full time, but for the past two years I've been doing 90 credits each year, so I've done the whole of year one and half of year two, but this year I decided to just go with one class. I'm just doing MST 210 or 210, however you want to call it, not sure. Yeah, so I only have one module this year, that's because level one classes don't really count towards your overall degree, year two and year three do. So I do want to, because I got a distinction in my physics class my year two, I do want to do good on my max one as well. So I decided to just have a bit more time and just do one class, and it is 60 credits. And 60 credits is what you are supposed to do or what they suggest you do if you do work full-time and you're just studying part-time. So I got my box here. I uh, haven't opened it yet. The other side has like the Open University logo and all that stuff, but it also has my address. So that's why I'm keeping it on this side for you guys. I don't know what to expect really. I mean, I read the contents of the box online of my module and it did say it contains seven books plus the other stuff. And for reference, this is the book, uh, MST 125 book, and this is how thick it is. So I'm gonna expect these books to be a bit thinner than previous ones. For all my physics classes, I've just done my contents online, all of it online, no books. All my math classes have had, or all my math modules have had physical books. So I've got a big stack of books from MST 124 and MST 125. Let's see what this is. No idea how to open I'm just cutting through this tap. No idea how to open this box. I think it has an actual opening, but you know. So the first thing that we have here is the contents checklist. They always bring this just in case there's anything missing, you need to notify them. You know what's supposed to be in there and what isn't supposed to be in there. Then you get the TMA form. This is in case you do your TMAs. Uh, physically and you send them over you do need to complete like a form if you like mail them physically if you submit them through the website you don't need this so this is just for me this one has just no use I think I still got the other ones from MSC 124 and MSC 125 yeah no use for me but if you do submit them through the mail then you're gonna need that the next thing here is the little handbook and I like the design of this because I think this was a design for the previous ones, MSC 124 and 125, they were both like that. So I like the different design, different image on them. You can bring the handbook to the exam just as you did with the level 1 math classes. You can also annotate on it, so what you can do, you're not allowed to add any paper or any post-its to it, but any pages this handbook has, you can just add things to it, even the pages like the front bit here and all that stuff, like the cover. Uh, the inside of the cover and I definitely recommend doing that because that saved me quite a bit last time I didn't even think I was gonna need what I wrote on it but I ended up needing it and didn't know what I was doing but I, do, I was just like going off of an example and got points so uh, don't lose this because if you download it online you're not gonna be able to take that to the exam you can only take this physical copy provided by the Open University so don't lose it and I also suggest going through it as you do the units because this one has basically like a bit of a summary but no examples so as you do studying in your units go through this and just add random bits to it if you want to start using a post-it but then transfer it to the actual book uh, I think that's the best way to do it so you know what you might need and what you might not need uh, this also has the contents of all the books in the back so six books I thought it was seven maybe not but maybe it's seven with the handbook. They're actually quite thick. Um, I'm looking at them, the rest is just books, so that whole box is very packed. It's not very big, but it's heavy. Uh, the next one here, book F, so they're in reverse order, I think. They're quite thick. Again, let me show you. Compared to, uh, this is MST125, MST210. They're a bit thinner, but they're still quite thick. The year one classes had four books per uh, MST 124 had four books, MST 125 had four books, and this one, MST 210, has six books. So, yeah, they go in reverse order, they all have the contents in the back, with review of the models, systems of particles, circular motion, which, yeah, 
I'm not the best at, but this is some sort of particles I do like, so yeah. Then we've got book E, which is a bit thinner than F. This one's got vector calculus, further vector calculus if you need it more of it, and multiple integrals, so I'm gonna hate that one. Uh, book D is slightly thinner, so they differ in thickness, I guess, depending on the units and how big they are. Book D is systems of differential equations. Fourier series and partial differential equations, so I might enjoy part of it, but I hate most of it as well. I'm not the best at math, I do a lot better in my physics classes, I still do alright at math, I mean, yeah, I do alright, but uh, it's not my forte, it's not my favourite thing either. Book C is a bit thicker, uh, mathematical modelling, oscillations and energy, forcing, damping, resonance, and normal modes, so yeah, I think this one's gonna be core. For it, also for all the physics applications, this was going to be quite important. And the NST210 uh, actual module is called Mathematical Methods, Models and Modeling, so I do expect this one to be quite heavy. Book B, we've got here, and they all have like different colors, so if you can see that, they all have like their color, I guess, which is color coordinated in the back of all of them, which is like a nice touch, I guess. Uh, this one, Book B, has matrices and determinants. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors, which uh, was also included in your ST125, systems of linear differential equations, and functions of several variables. So, again, a lot of um, calculus packed. I did actually like doing eigenvalues and eigenvectors, weirdly, but I, I did enjoy that. And book A, which is the first one that you start with, is quite heavy as well, a bit thick compared to some of the others. Might look very similar there. But it's one of the thicker ones, uh, book A, the first one. I believe this one has contents from MST 124 and 125 to review all the information from those because you do need to know those very well to get the rest of it done. So this one's first and second order, differential equations, again, that's contents that you've seen, vector algebra and statics, and dynamics. So I'm not sure what that would entail if it does have uh, yeah, some forces, friction and all that, so again, this is all things that you've pre previously seen. So book A is just like an introduction and review of year one, and then I think books B to F have new content that you haven't seen, but of course it's very important to review the contents on this one since, yeah, it's quite, not basic, but it is like the basis of everything else within the module and within uh, mathematics, I guess. One thing that I'm missing here, not that I'm missing from the checklist, but something that's been included previously that it's not included here is a computer algebra guide. So if you've done any of the classes or maybe you haven't, but just <laughs> information, you do do a lot of work with Maxima on the computer. Maxima is just like a computer, mathematical computer software thing where you can do graphs, you can do functions. And it's sort of like coding, but for maths, just mathematically applied, I guess. And MST-124 and MST-125 came with a computer algebra guide, which is basically like a an instruction manual for Maxima, since it's quite complicated to use and you might not remember everything. From what I've seen on the website, MST-210 also includes a lot of Maxima, so I'm not sure if you're just supposed to use the previous computer algebra guides or if the instructions will be within the actual units which which they haven't done before they always have uh, whenever there's an exercise for it they always refer to the computer algebra guide so I'm not sure actually I don't know if I can find any examples they do seem like they have less examples or less oh that's interesting so MSC 124 and 125 did have loads of already done examples within uh, the units which were in orange so they were very easy to spot this one doesn't seem to include any orange slightly concerns me because i did like my examples and it also yeah it does have solutions at the back for the normal examples but i did like the explained examples because sometimes i might look at the back and see what they've done but i don't know what they actually have done i know the result of it but i don't know the process so maybe interesting to see if that's yeah it doesn't seem to have any done like explained examples or any references to computer algebra guide on first look because they usually have a little icon that refers you to the computer algebra guide so i don't know how i'm gonna work with maximida if i don't have the instructions because i'm not the best at it it's not on the exams but it is something that you do need to get at and it will be part of the tmas 
from what I've read on the Maju website. So I think that's going to be everything for this unboxing. Let me know if you guys liked it and if you have any questions about the Open University. I can definitely do another video of it. If you have any questions, then I can do a Q&A. Or if you just have any simple questions, I can just reply to you in the comments. So just let me know below. And if you have any video requests, also please let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!